So this one is one that I really am not sure of. It can... I'd say of the games here, this is the one that I kind of am not sure of the most. It could potentially be very good, it could potentially be mediocre, or it could be horrible. Um, and it is, of course, way too loud on my end, and probably way too loud on the stream too. Yeah, that is way too loud on the stream. Let's turn that way down. Jeez, I have a negative 20 on OBS and it's still pretty loud. Okay, uh, this is Super Hyperactive Ninja. <laughs> which is normally $7.99, 75% off for $1.99, so really cheap right now. Yes, the Void King was indestructible except for his glowing weak point. Oh, I let it stay on the tile screen for too long and now we're getting a uh, plot. So, yeah, this seems to line up with what the um, description mentioned. We're basically off to go reclaim the legendary coffee as coffee ninjas. Because those things are things that exist. Anyway, I get, like don't know what to expect of this. Nippon, of course, we can't say just Japan. <laughs> uh huh. Well, there we go. Liking the soundtrack so far. It seems a bit oddly easy to kind of do a double jump. Like, you kind of just immediately go into it if you hold the button down for a long time, which possibly could screw me over, or possibly not. I... No, I can't climb walls. There's something up there, though. Okay, so we need caffeine to stay awake. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't go back down. I was gonna go back down and climb those walls and get all that stuff. Oh well. So I do know that this is the one gimmick. We have hyperactive mode. Which lets you jump on walls and do other things and move a lot faster. But you also can't stop moving. And that's kind of the gimmick of this game. That you enter hyperactive mode and you apparently don't kill all enemies. Okay, we can only kill enemies from behind. I didn't see that because I was in hyperactive mode. I think you... I think it doesn't work if you're not on coffee. Like, yeah, I think normally just everything kills you, right? Yeah. Well, that didn't kill me, but did hurt. And I guess if the bar gets... Well, if the bar gets too low, that's your health, so you just die. So I guess that's hard to be stuck in a position where you don't at least have some way of getting the bar full again. Or, like, like, like you can't just be stuck in a pit, right? Jumps are a bit weird. What? Okay, true ninja attacks from behind, they said again. Oh, okay. Is that literally just the Metal Gear noise? Or is it not quite the exact sound effect? Because that was an awfully Metal Gear noise. <laughs> I guess it's slightly different. Okay. There we go. Nope, couldn't get him. Guess if I was a bit faster on that, I would have been able to. Okay, that guy's just straight up bad news. Can't wait for the ninja to turn around. But there we go. And got a checkpoint. 
This definitely seems like it takes a bit to get used to. I also saw that this game was made with speedrunning in mind, so I assume that if you're very good at then you can probably do all this without really getting out of hyper mode all that often. go. Oh no. Oh, it didn't kill me though. I guess because I didn't get hit with an attack, I just made contact damage. Also would like this coffee. I feel like that score indicator is a bit bare bones looking. I would like the call. I would like that score indicator to be a little bit less dull. It's, it's just kind of plain text. It should be exciting considering how exciting the coffee music is, especially. Oops. Oh, that could have gone better. So I wonder if I ever get reason to, like, spend the money? Because I have a separate money count in the bomb left over there. Like, it's not just my score. I know that there's more... You know what? Yeah, I know what it is. There's multiple characters, so I bet that you can unlock them by buying them. Oops. This is really hard to get used to. I'm not sure how I feel about this game so far, to be honest. Like... It... It's an interesting concept. I'm not sure if I really like these controls. Also, like, the way these jumps work is kind of annoying. That, like, it shouldn't be this hard to enter into kind of a gap, I guess. I guess the idea is you're supposed to leave hyperactive mode and then slide into the gap. Or if you're going for time, just not do that. And... Also, don't get hit by the blue ninja. Like, I guess if you're going for time, you just make the jump, right? While staying in hyperactive mode. But otherwise, if you're kind of not caring about your rank too much, then maybe just leave hyperactive mode. Got some money. There we go. I do not deserve an A for that. It shouldn't give me an A. Yep, rank B. Still, I assume A is not the highest rank, because I have not been doing this particularly well. Okay, so monks you can kill from any direction, but, you know, energy ball and all. Okay. That's oddly hard to dodge. There we go. One down. Okay, three down. I feel like I'm going to try staying out of hyperactive mode. Okay, yeah. I can't even kill them without the coffee. Even if they're weak. I kind of figured as much. Oops. Oh, I accidentally found a secret. I think. And there doesn't seem to actually be anything here, but I found it. Maybe I picked something up when I initially went in there and didn't notice it. Oh, this is kind of tight timing. There we go. Yeah, that's kind of the thing. Like, the start and the end on the hyper mode doesn't really feel good. And, like, I get that that's sort of an intentional thing, but, yeah, like, that massive pause kind of isn't great. Okay, didn't mean to kill him, but I'll take it. Like, I, I guess ideally, if you're speedrunning, then... 
you're not really hitting that start and end all that often, but like, otherwise you kind of are, right? Like, if you're not really used to the game, you're hitting that end a lot, and it really legitimately doesn't feel very good to hit. Oops. Oh, I need to press X to use the item, I see. Okay, refills your caffeine. Okay, well, I mean, I don't really need it right now. I guess this I'm supposed to just... Wait on it? Like, for a speedrunning game, it seems like it has an awful lot of waiting. I guess that there's, like, secret things like that, which are good to know about. But, like, I assume that, ideally, if you speedrun it, then you don't really end up waiting that much, right? But, like, the thing is, usually when you have a speedrunning game, you usually don't have this much waiting, even if you're not doing well. And right now it feels like there's a ton of waiting if you're not doing extremely well. Like, I think a good comparison would be something like Rifter, where even if you're playing sloppy, you still have that sense of speed. You don't really feel like you're constantly um, slowing down or pausing or braking. You still feel like you're going fast, it's just when you're like really trying to speedrun it, you go very fast. Like, you go from fluid to extremely fluid, whereas this is kind of either fluid or really kind of stop and go. So yeah, so far not really feeling this. I know that the different characters do play differently, so maybe some of the other characters are better than the default character, but honestly, yeah, kind of not feeling this one. Like, it's certainly not the worst made game of the night, but it's probably the one that I'm enjoying the least. Which is a shame, since it does seem like there's a lot of effort put into it. But, yeah, you know, effort doesn't always ma mean that the thing that I created is the best. Let's see. Uh, the checkpoint seems nice, at least. Like, there's not really anything fatally wrong with the game, it's just this stop and go feels very dissatisfying. And, and like, I think the answer is, it like, like, when the answer is, oh, just play better, like, I don't really want to have to invest that amount of time into the game before the game starts feeling good. It should just feel pretty good from the get-go, and then play way better once I get good at it. Like, it should be good enough from the get-go that I want to invest that time to make it feel even better than it already does, you know? And I guess... Okay, that was rank D. And we're up to a boss fight. Looks like I need to maybe jump up there to push rocks on him. Okay, he's all the way... Okay. Oh, and that's instant death. Hopefully he doesn't take that... Yeah, like, hopefully he dies relatively quickly from the rocks and doesn't take a billion hits. Because, like, it looks like I need to... Let's see, is this enough? It may or may not hit him. Okay, no. But then this one should. I wasn't expecting it to kind of... I was expecting it to go straight down. Well, never mind. Okay, and apparently I can't just hit him from behind. I need to lure him out from over there. That should be, that should be enough, right? Okay, so it looks like... Oops. I feel like I was in the air when that hit. Which 
normally means that you should be able to dodge a seismic attack, but maybe I wasn't. I really don't like that. Okay, now it seems like even if I'm in the air, it's just... It hits me anyway, which is not the best. Unless the timing's just incredibly tight. Okay, yeah, the timing's just very tight on that. I don't like that the rocks bounce back to where they normally are when that happens, because what will happen is I go, I'll go to push the rock, and, and then he jumps because he's still doing his initial attack, and I just get hit instead. Like, I, I guess I should know that by now, but... I'm also not entirely sure of where his sight radius is. It's that. Okay. Okay. Well, presumably I can just keep doing this, right? Like, he didn't really move. And the rocks are just... Uh, that felt like that's not how that's intended to go down. That can't be right. I rec rescued someone new. Or no, it's an I am not character. Found the map, you discover a new place, Kamekata Palace, or Kame Castle. Uh, so let's try out the shop. So, let's see, this one's ground floor, plus five more, plus the boss room. This is same number, they just have different names. Okay, go to the shop. I can buy this. Oh wow, these are really expensive. Now, if I go to character select... Okay, I did unlock this character, so you have... Okay, so you have a better charge. And that's literally it. Way less combustion and way less rest, but charge is high. Oh, and they start with three water walking things. Now, well, let's try it, right? Okay. Oh wow, that goes away awfully quickly. Okay, so that's reusable for him, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, dying in this game does not feel good. Like, I, I think part of it is that, like, it's hard to tell which way an enemy is facing when you're moving quickly, and if they're not facing, if they're, like, if you need to wait for them to turn around, that means a lot of waiting. Like, again, this game just, it, it has way more waiting than I would expect of a stealth game. Oops, apparently I... Oh, right, because I don't have the caffeine going. Or, way more weighing than I would expect, like, a speedrun game, I meant to say. Like, it has as much as I'd expect of a stealth game, but, like, this isn't really trying to be just a stealth game. And I guess this is probably better to go down here, right? Oops. I honestly call this one and move on to the... Uh, next game of the night pretty soon, because this stream's been going for kind of a while, and I I'm honestly just not really feeling this. Which, like, it is a shame, because, like, again, it seems like they put a lot of effort into this game. It seems to have a decent amount of content, has, like, a decent number of, like, characters, and, like, it does have a pretty unique concept, at least. It's just, I don't really like how it 
actually plays out. Okay. Let's see. Like, it, it really sucks that I'm not feeling this because uh, it's clear that a good amount of work did legitimately go into this, but yeah, it just kind of doesn't come together in a satisfying way for me, at least. Maybe someone else would have a lot more fun with it. I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Return to level select. I assume you can start. Yeah, like, you can start from whatever level. Assuming there's one character per world, like, there are presumably a lot of worlds if this is one per area. Or even if, like, it's only the first six, that's still quite a few, right? So, yeah. Not really feeling this game. And I'm gonna call it there on this one. But... Eh, I mean, if you think that looks like something you might be interested in, it is 75% off right now. It's only two bucks, so... I don't know. If you think you might like it, I'd say it's probably worth taking the risk on the two bucks. Otherwise, maybe pass. Um, anyway, last game of the night, and I saved this for last because I figured I don't know how long it's going to be that I play it for. Could be 30 minutes, could be a bit more. It's an RPG. So, who knows? I don't know if this game takes a little bit to get going, or if, if it kind of hits the ground running. I also don't know if it's good or not. It looked pretty decent from the trailer, but who knows. This is um towards the Pantheon. It is normally $7.99. It's 75% off, so it's $1.99. Not gonna play in full screen mode. Also, it looks like this game has some pretty good original sprite work. Honestly, a lot of the games tonight like have pretty good sprite work going and very different styles. Also, this game is very low on my end, so I'm gonna turn it up on the stream. Maybe not that much. There we go. That seems like a pretty good balance. And we're starting a new game. Start the timer. Probably only going to give this 30 minutes unless it takes a bit more than that to pick up or something. Because this stream is going to end up being about 3 hours long at this rate. And that's quite long. That's more than I intended to stream for initially, but... Oh well. I guess it works out. I planned on doing roughly 30 minutes per game and I had 6 games. But I also was assuming that less of them would necessarily make it to that 30 minute mark. But they ended up being decent enough for the most part. Okay. Okay. We got a goal. Go northeast. Yes, you are much too old for adventure, so let's send the protagonist to go kill things and save the world and whatnot. I also know that this game has, um, what is it? There's a prequel game that is free on Steam also. Ah, sorry, I haven't played the prequel at all, so I don't know, but, you know. It's free, by the same people, and it's even tied to this game, so it probably plays in a similar way. Okay, so if you lose all of your health points, you die. Okay, that's pretty basic stuff. Oh, I hope there's a run button, because this default walk speed is... Okay. This run speed is also kind of slow, but... It's definitely a lot better than the default walk speed. Okay. That's a... 
It did. Electropunks. The heck is an electropunk? I assume we'll find out. I didn't want to check out the books, I want to check out the blazing fire. Okay. Kinda half skimming the um flavor text, mostly because I want to actually get to the point where we get to see the game popper. Chicken. I shall take this chicken and bring it into civilization. Hooray. You can really just push everything, I guess. <sighs> okay. So many names. That's weird, you can't push NPCs. Just the animals. over here. I guess we have a silent protagonist, but she does kind of have different facial expressions, so you can get general feel of how she's reacting to various things. I wonder if there'll be an explanation for why she's a silent protagonist, or if she just is. Like, they sure have a lot of, um, dot dot dots and whatnot. Good. So far, we can't loot any items of value from these people's homes. That's it? Okay. I like the look of the game. It reminds me of something, but I can't quite place it. It's cartoony, but it's not cartoony in the way of something like Earthbound. Not quite sure what it's reminding me of, honestly. I got some green tea. Hooray, first time of the game. Okay, I guess that's it. Oh! That's handy. There's some sort of combo system and cards, and green tea is... Recovers 10 HP or CPU. I guess Electropunks are robots. I'm assuming we'll get one as a party member, and it will have CPU as some sort of alternative HP system. Maybe it's like a combined HP MP system? Not sure if we'll get one by the end of the, um, by the end of this little 30 minute tryout period. Hey, a tuna roll. Okay. Some very lively looking flowers. I mistook these for fireflies for a second, but fireflies you usually can't step on. Oh, there's a firefly over there. Well, that's the town. Nope, never mind, there's more town. Can I go in here? I can. Cool. Wrath of Mysterious combo. Salmon roll. All this sushi, I feel like this kind of Norse ish, like, culture thing going on. The sushi feels oddly out of place, but whatever. Let's see. What a lovely little story you got. So I guess cards are just. Collectible lore. Path of Mysterious to deal 20 damage to one enemy. Oh, okay. So, never mind. I guess you collect cards and you combine the cards in certain ways and they make combos. 
This one does, has nothing to do with the combo I found in the same room as it, though, so... Okay. I'm getting the feeling that environmental things are consistently flavor text and all items are going to be either from talking to people or from treasure chests. But that might not necessarily be the case. The Divine Messis card. Okay. Is that how you say that? Divine... Yeah, sure. L let's go with Divine Messis. Okay. Hollow Hearted and Fell Creepers. I get the feeling those are going to be things we'll be fighting at some point. Oh, this is an important book. Huh. Okay. We got a store headed up by what looks like a goat? Dog? Might be a dog. And I know that we're getting a cat as a party member, so that's a possibility that there's just a whole village of animals. Is it a llama? Oh yeah, it's literally a from a llama. So yes, it is a llama. Ooh, a pack of cards. Okay, so we just get cards by ten gold short. I could sell one of these tuna rolls or something. I want that card pack. But let's maybe not. Maybe I can find 10 gold somewhere. Oops, I missed that first line of dialogue. Okay, so it is a plot point that she can't speak. Okay, uh, I'm glad they addressed that because it was getting a bit weird seeing the ellipses, like, non-stop. Hello, wherever you are, you are a hamster? Of... maybe? Yeah, it speeds here to play on hamster, I guess. Okay, it's a warp system. Cool. <laughs> okay. Here. Oh, okay, these are save points. Huh. Let's go ahead and save. Well, that's quite nice. Just camping out all alone in the middle of the village, I guess. We made good progress walking around the block. <laughs> Oh, hey, we actually do have dialogue happening. Uh, I don't know, because I've been in this village and I turned the corner, and that is as much of the world I've seen so far, little child. Okay. Oh. This game's been pretty good so far. Definitely a bit of a slow start, but I mean, I assume I could have just skipped talking to all these people and immediately gone into the cave or wherever it is. I assume it's a cave because it 
map made it look like there's a cave you go into. Let's see, it doesn't seem like I can go into these areas. Well, I need to go northeast. Let's see, what does this stuff even do? I don't think I necessarily... The blueberries are tempting because status elements always suck, but... Mm. Oh, cards and combos. Okay, so cards are dead memories. That makes a little bit of sense. Do have any cards I can steal? Aw. So far, we're not very much of a thief. Let's lure the bold. Okay. Nope, still none of those people. Oh, you had 40 gold, little kid? Can I have 40 gold? Okay, that's also acceptable. I don't think they're consumable. They might be, but... Hmm. And I guess it does say that I have, like, one of each. So maybe, oh yeah, let's see what this actually says. Okay. Okay, so things are tense with whoever place these soldiers came from. The sworn light soldiers. Yeah, that sounds like the name of an organization that might be a tad bit evil. Oh. If I literally come right back and see what's to the west. Why didn't you give me this before? I'm not gonna buy the green tea, I'm gonna buy cards. I wanna be the best at Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, great choice. All my money. Hey, the Catala, Triton, Akinoid, and Catala again. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. I went this way because there's a treasure chest. Oh yeah, I'm just immediately throwing away my money into gambling on card games. <laughs> okay, so apparently we've been this way since birth. It wasn't because of like a tragic accident that or anything. I'm going to assume our character will find her voice at some point, because that is usually how plot things like this go. Though I think it would also be interesting if she just remains mute, but highly expressive. Cave. Oh, that's the ladder. Okay.
watch there just be like some sort of super secret boss here that immediately kills me. Nope, there's just blueberries. Not quite sure what they're doing down here. Maybe someone dropped them. Anyway, they're mine now. Okay, I was expecting a bit more of a bigger cave than that, considering its prominence on the map. But I guess not. Okay, let's go in the direction that we're meant to go in, because I've already used up 18 minutes about, and we haven't gone proper combat even yet. Mostly because I've been doing everything possible in this whole area. Okay, so these... I'm guessing these are random encounters here. I should probably see what combat's like. Tilt and random battle. Going to assume there's not going to be much to the very first encounter in the whole fight. In the whole game. Okay, that's a boss battle. Oh, I got a tutorial on the random encounter from touching the first one. Okay, so it's purely turn-based. We got some combos. I, I'm not allowed to use it, though. I can't use cards as a thing. Okay, this has like a little bit of a Sukoan thing between like, bribe and flee. Or I could choose to do nothing. I wonder if that'll be battle re like relevant. Is this like a ferret? Oh, interesting. Uh, let's see, he has a sword, so maybe bow? That uses 3 SP, that uses 1 SP. And that uses a lot. Oh, I bet do nothing is for if you use up all of your SP. Let's try the bow. Okay. Oh, well, he died very quickly. Yeah, pretty simple combat system so far, though. The SP system definitely seems like it could make things interesting. I, th I think there might be something there. Oh, wait. Berries. There we go. I need to keep a lookout for berries of all colors. Like, there's some... What is that? It might just be some rocks. Might just be some rocks in the middle of the lake. Oh, little fallen tree. That's a nice environmental touch. So what does the map have to say? Okay, the map says that I am... Oh! Okay, so that whole thing was the town symbol on the bottom left. So I'm in the first of the two forest areas. Let's... Oh! SP doesn't restore between fights. I assumed I'd be at max SP at the start of every fight. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I leveled up. Oh! Wasn't expecting this. Well, I have literally one possible upgrade. So what's all this? Crit. Okay, crit up, well, crit hit rate up is at the end of every single one of these paths. Let's see, how many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I'm going to say about like 40, 45 ish, maybe. So, I, I think that this game, I can't recall, I think that this game might have been like somewhere around the 10 hour mark estimated at but I might be confusing it with something else so don't take my word on that more berries, these are green I assume it'll be t more than 10 hours if you stop to check out every single little thing the way I have been one shot kill nope, that is not one shot kill there's really no point in using the axe at least not at the moment This got really open really fast. Like, I know I'm supposed to be heading northeast, but there's all this other stuff to check out. Yep, let's go ahead and save. 
What's it say? Okay, I assume that these mines are probably a bad idea to be in right now. I'm guessing the enemies here are way stronger than outside, and since I really... Ooh. Okay, they have newspapers. But like, since I really am not even supposed to be going in the direction, I assume that I probably should try and avoid encounters. At least it seems pretty easy to avoid random encounters unless you're running around and one spawns right in front of you. <sighs> Sorry for the yawning. Like I said, it's been getting a bit late, so... Oh, maybe that cave isn't so bad since it just led to this. Uh-huh. We seem to have changed seasons slightly. Oh, let's go for it. My friend mistake, yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Not liking the looks of this. Okay, they're prepping something, so I'm pretty sure I really, really want to at least kill one of them. Okay, good. What did they what did it do? Maybe it just heals a lot. Or is it... Okay. Well, that was easy. Uh, oh, that seems incredibly good. Alternately, accuracy up. I feel like these little SP regen nodes are possibly the most important ones. Ooh. That also is really nice. Like, presumably I want to kind of stick to this upper path. Now let's go for... Hmm. So, three levels will get me that, but four levels will get me accuracy up, plus that, and plus it'll put me closer to this. So maybe I'll just start hanging in this direction. More HP does seem like it's very valuable, though, because this is a low numbers game, so that 2 HP is going quite far. Okay. What? Going on? Oh, it's a dead memory. I see. Ooh. SP up seems good. 6 SP means I can use the bow two times in a row, not even including SP regen. I assume it was plus one SP, yeah. The, the graphic for the dead memories reminds me a little bit of the, um... The little swirly things from Quest 64 for the elementals or whatever. I'm pretty sure this is a better game than Quest 64, though. Probably shouldn't have done that. Let's see how this goes. Ooh! That ain't good. Uh, hopefully the bow kills one of them. I am very dead. Now is this... <laughs> okay. Um... I might be able to take this depending on just what I do. Oh, I would need to use up so many consumables though. Attempting to flee is a gamble. Thing is, if I use... Assuming one more hit is enough to kill them. Using green tea... Will be enough to... Get up to full, or near full at least. And then I'll be able to... This is a huge gamble. Oh, I should fuse these way sooner. I'm gonna do it. This is gonna eat- oh! 
I wasn't expecting them to crit me. That sucks. I'm dead. Continue. Oh yeah, okay. You, you do go back to your previous save. <laughs> well. That is unfortunate. I, I want to get that dead memory and that, um. And mostly the card. Oh, no, I didn't want to upgrade her HP. Oh, well. She's slightly more adorable now, which might not be so bad. <laughs> SP definitely seems like the better one. No, oh, god, I didn't mean to touch that. Everything here is very scary looking. <laughs> Oh, this game has... Maybe I'll just give up on this cave for now. I can always come back here later. <laughs> well, I like that the game does let you go into dangerous places like that for early rewards if you want to risk it, though. But yeah, let's maybe stay away from there for now. <laughs> okay. It's very easy to lose track of where I have and have not already been. Got some chopped wood. Got some coffee. Bow. Okay, we're back to enemies I can actually take. Unless they do that, and I unless I miss. Okay, we have bow fight. Oh, this rock looked special, but it's not. Oh, another stat berry. There we go. I got a stat. Wait, random encounters. I am not looking so great on anything at the moment. <laughs> okay, stat berries are apparently relatively common. NP is another stat, I guess. May as well give stat ups to my main character. I'm not really comfortable moving around at 5 HP. I guess nothing's stopping me from going back to town, so I may as well use the green tea to heal up a bit. Little bit of a waste, but 5 HP is way too low to really safely do much of anything. So that's a 30 minute mark already, but hey, I said that I might go over 30 minutes because it's an RPG and RPGs usually take a little bit to get going. So yeah, let's go a little bit longer on this. I'm liking this a lot so far, by the way. Definitely kind of up there with Line Light. Oh, that's cool. Up there with Line Light as probably, well, as a strong contender for the best game of the night. Not quite sure which one I like more, Line Light. I think I like a little bit more, but it's so hard to tell because RPGs kind of are at a very different pace from something like that. So we'll see. I'll think on it a bit more once things, once I'm done with this to wrap up the stream, I guess. Since I do like to kind of put things in ranked order at the end of a stream and then I might change my mind later on down the road, but after I've had time to think on it more, or possibly after I've played the games a bit more outside the stream context. Yeah, the tent also heals you, I just didn't feel like going back to the tent to be honest. i just stick to the sword for a bit to start getting more SP. That accuracy up is looking a little bit more important than it did a second ago. Okay, I guess I enter the cave from somewhere else. Okay, how do I get to you, person? I can get to them from here. Oops. Her sprite for contacting um, enemies is a little bit bigger than I keep thinking it is because, like, her ponytail is part of it, and I think, like, the blank space below the ponytail also counts. So, 
hitting enemies is a bit... Enemies are a little bit harder to avoid than I initially thought. Okay, I'm just getting headbutted by this thing. There we go. And I guess I'm... Oh, wait, no, I can bow again. Wow, that was enough for a full level, huh? Uh, yeah, definitely want to make it closer to this. Like, if I can get one of these nodes, and I'll be able to bare minimum use the weakest bow attack every turn. Which is better than the weakest sword attack. Oh, I just circle around this way to talk to you. Okay. Uh-huh. I'll call it maybe when we get to the town of Garius. That seems like a good stopping point. Maybe do a little bit in Garius, meet our second party member, and then call it. We'll see. I'm not sure of exactly how far away Garius is, or if there will be a boss fight before it, or what. I can't want to go in that cave because they tempted me with the treasure chest that's clearly connected to it, but... Okay, there is a tent here. Let's go ahead and save. And there's an exclamation point moment. So let's check that out as well. Okay, I need to press X to actually have it go up to the um, sky. So is someone going to come and talk to us? Or is it just going to be a pleasant night looking at the moon? Okay, we're, we're in a flashback, I guess. We have a lot of sad, lonely nights on the trail, I guess. Potentially think it, thinking of presumably dead family members. Oh, that's one I already have a bunch of. <laughs> Oh man, this cave is a bit more involved than I initially expected. I should probably not delve too far considering how the last cave went, but... Oh well. Oh, actually this one doesn't seem to be as bad. Okay. Nothing new as far as normal attack skills go. I guess the thing with combos is... I'm going to assume any party member can use them too, as long as you have the cards for it. So, they're probably really power- they're hard to get, but like, they are presumably really powerful and very flexible because they're not tied to any one character. Unless that's like our main character's thing, but I don't think it is. Six gold, well... At least I guess if I come across something that's way too strong for me, I- almost certainly have enough gold to run away from it now. Right, I'm up to 20, yeah, 27 should be more than enough, considering that that one fight that completely wiped the floor with me was 20. The Terror Force. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, Demon roll. Cool. Let's go down here. The baby bomb. What an adorable little bomb. That seems like a good thing to use on a boss. You think it's going to be like a naming pun gimmick thing, and they're all going to be like Baby Bomb, Mom Bomb, Dad Bomb, or whatever? Or do you think it's just going to be Baby Medium Large? I assume there's multiple bombs, right? You don't call, you don't like add an adjective to a bomb and have it be the only bomb in the whole game. May as well save. Might be a boss coming up. I could also see maybe there not being a boss until 
a little bit farther from now because we don't really have much we can do in combat. I don't have any skills or anything beyond like the basic three. Okay, wait, what'd this say? So this is a way of getting to Garius, presumably. So I'm guessing that the road is blocked, like the road's just going to be straight up blocked by the soldiers and I'm going to need to go through that mine, right? That certainly seems to be where this is leading. Oops. Ow. <laughs> and this should do it. Yep. Hey, leveled up. I need one more. Oh wait, that was SP up. So they're not all health up. I would I hadn't been looking at the pluses, but I assumed they were all HP. Okay. Oh, that's a fight. For some reason I parsed that as being a very but no. And just one moment. Oh, what was the name of this game again? This is, um, Towards the Pantheon. I'll just type it out. It also has a freeware prequel. Also on Steam. I haven't, pl I haven't played the prequel, so I'm not sure of how good it is, but... This one seems pretty good so far, so I assume the prequel's also pretty good. Oops, don't have enough SP for that. My combat's been pretty simple at this point because I really only have normal attack, stronger normal attack, and slightly stronger normal attack. But like, it definitely seems like it has room to get a lot more complicated. Oh, oh there's a soldier. Oh, that's a dead memory floating around. Yeah, let's get more SP. More SP is always good. More HP is also always good, but, you know, not really that high of a priority at the moment. Oh. Okay, they both say the same thing. Uh, oops. I almost ran into that. Okay, guess the road's not blocked by the soldiers. Yeah, gonna find our second party member and then probably call it quits. Or, depending on if it's like a whole involved thing to get them, then, you know, just explore town a little bit. And then call it quits. Gee, that sure sounds like it's going to be something I'm going to need to deal with. You seem awfully young to just be downing three cups of coffee in the morning, but okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks, kid. I mean, if you're going to name yourself the Terror Force, that seems pretty blatant. Okay. And... Already have that, but thanks. And I guess if cards do get consumed during combos, then 
yeah, I guess having multiple copies is good. Hmm. Oh, the speedsters, the little hamster people. Oh, dead memory there. Almost missed it. Mm. Uh, let's get SP up a little bit more. I'm trying to get to the point where I might actually want to consider HP. Oh, hey, there you are. Is traveling free? Yeah, looks like traveling's free. Nice. And there's a berry. Locked. Did I talk to you? Alright, that seems like it's everything on this part of the town. New store. I really want to buy more cards. <laughs> I'm going to do it. More cards. Who needs healing items? Look at that. They're all new. Okay. And I can buy a green tea. I, I might go ahead and buy a green tea. There we go. Doesn't seem like equipment is a thing in this game. That's fine. It's not like equipment's really all that interesting anyway. It just makes the number go up unless they do... Well, depends on the game. Some games do a lot more with equipment. A lot, most of them though. It's just like, oh hey, your attack power is now higher. Which, eh. Uh, sorry. Okay. Oh, this house looks big. It's a well. I haven't found the person I'm here to meet. I think they're supposed to be in this town, right? Wow, no one's ever made that comparison before. Okay. What's this mysterious book? Okay. That was a rather useless house, but whatever. Check in. Do you have anything to say? No, nothing hidden behind this tree. Hmm. Wonder if that'll become relevant later. It's weird that it even exists. Could just be a little bit of flavor for the town, though. I thought I was supposed to meet someone in Garius, but maybe I'm mistaken. Alright, let's get one more, like, sad camping memory, I guess. It was probably just that I had to pass through Garius to reach the place where they are. Oh, maybe it's not when you press the button. I guess I just happened to start panning up when I pressed the button last time. Hey, the moon's full. Oh. Oh, I, I guess that we maybe got sick of constantly crying at night. Or just got angry at whoever it was that 
makes her sad in the first place. Okay. 10 SP, 95 X, uh, or 10 SP, 95 experience. It sounds like, okay, there's the boss here. Let's end this on the boss fight, actually. Okay, it's a giant, well, earth giant person. Uh, let's maybe start with an axe. Okay. That's not too bad. I might be a little bit overleveled for this. Who knows? So, well, I guess a lot of it depends on how much health he has. Ugh. That definitely eats into my health quite a bit. Mm, I'm gonna heal because one more crit and I'm gonna be hurting a lot. Yeah, getting that... Oh, man. Yeah, I'm glad I healed. Getting that thing that, um... lets you see enemy health seems like it's gonna be a big step up. Uh, what is the least important healing I might have? Uh, fully restores... 5 HP... Okay, so these are really mediocre to the point where it seems like they're not even worth using in combat itself. Oh, that's really good. I think I'm gonna use the tuna roll. Definitely a bit of a waste, but... I don't really want to use the green berries because they're so small. Well, let's use the axe and hope it maybe is enough. Nope, it was not. You know what, they gave me that bomb. Let's use the bomb. Hey, it worked. And I got my first SP recovery thing. Yeah, okay, let's see if there's any particularly good, like, plus nodes, or if they're all HP and SP plus two. Looks like they're all pretty much HP and SP plus two, actually. Man, lots of SP up near the end. Hmm. Anyway, finally got this SP recovery node. Oh, and I have another level up point. What did I? I guess I double leveled from that fight. Okay, and then two more levels, and I'll actually have enough to um, uh, be able to see enemies in combat, or see their HP in combat. Let's also have one random encounter while I'm here. Okay, that's kind of what I expect of it. One random encounter, then I'm gonna backtrack. It's a bird. I wonder if it's like weak to a bow. Specifically because it's flying. Let's see, that did seven. Axe is normally stronger. Nope! Okay, it is not weak to the bow. Let's go ahead and save. Okay, and I think I'm gonna call it there, because, hey, we've been going for a while. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, let's exit the game. Yep. Okay, and there we go. Uh, so that was six games for the night. Um, let's see, so let's pull them up so that I can actually look at them. Yeah, so that is Towards the Pantheon, uh, Super Hyperactive Ninja, Road Doom, Line Light, Sacred Stones, and Blood City. Um, now, in terms of quality, I'd say the order is probably... Mm, uh, Towards the Pantheon and Line Light, I'm really torn on. Uh, they're both very good. Maybe I'd say, like, Line light, then towards the Pantheon, then Sacred Stones, Road Doom, Super Hyperactive Ninja, and then Blood City, dead last in terms of, like, quality. Like, Blood City is a bad game. It, I have fun with it, but it's bad. Um, In terms of, 
like, personal, like, how much fun I had playing them. Um, I'd say it's kind of about the same. I think I'd put towards, I'd put, I think I'd put Line Light at the top. Towards the Pantheon's very good, but, like, from what I've played of it, it was still kind of, like, the combat system didn't really pick up while I was playing it. It's clear that there's room for it to pick up, but from that, like, 40 minutes or so, it was basically spam various types of normal attack and sometimes heal, right? Like, there wasn't really much nuance to it. Uh, I like the art style. It The world seems like it's pretty well-developed and, like, I don't know. I like the tone it's going for. So, I like a lot about it. It's just that it's an RPG and it didn't really pick up much in the combat system early on, which is fine. I think it's still very good. But yeah, I'd say Line Light's number one in terms of both how much I like it and just in terms of probably the most polished. Uh, Towards the Pantheon is number two. And then those two are definitely really far and away the best two, like, way more than any of the others tonight, I think. Uh, then I'd say Sacred Stones, which is fun, but I do think that it's a bit rough around the edges. Like, I feel like the controls could be a little bit better. I feel like the enemies could maybe telegraph their attacks a little bit better. So it definitely feels a bit rough. Um, but I did have fun with it. So, I'd say Sacred Stones is third. Then, Road Doom, probably. Uh, Road Doom, again, like, it was fine, but it's really easy. Like, and if, you, and like, again, like, if you like shmups, but you're not great at shmups, maybe, yeah, that's fine. But, I, I kind of wish it picked up more. Um, and then, yeah, no, no, in terms of personal fun, I honestly had more fun with Blood City than Road Doom. Like, Blood City's dumb, and that part with the, like, kind of spikes and the moving platform at the start of the final level was awful. Like, not even fun awful, just awful awful, but... I don't know, Blood Save's the right kind of dumb for me. I'm I kind of enjoyed it more than Road Doom. Road Doom I started getting a bit bored of after a bit. But yeah, I I'd say Road Doom after that and then Super Hyperactive Ninja just didn't click with me at all, unfortunately. Like there's some neat ideas there, but it just I just don't like the amount of downtime it has, and I don't like the amount of time you need to wait to kill enemies if you've arrived at them when they're facing the wrong way, and that boss fight was... The answer to that boss fight seemed to be get it into a good spot and then just hit it three times without really being threatening at all once you do that. Like, it, it seems like it's a neat idea that doesn't actually come together uh with but it, it has a lot of heart i think it does have a lot of heart and like effort behind it just wasn't feeling it so like i feel really bad putting it on the bottom of like the fun factor list i guess but yeah it was the only one for the night that i really wasn't feeling at all um but yeah like of these and you know so that's what you can get for about 15 bucks on steam under $15 during the current sale. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I guess the other thing to keep in mind is, even though I said Line Light and Towards the Pantheon are kind of neck and neck, Line Light is still $4, and Towards the Pantheon is $2. So they're both really good, and if you're really tight on money but you want a game, Towards the Pantheon is half the price of Line Light. So it's... Definitely, like, the better one in terms of just sheer value to money. Um, but yeah, uh, that's going to do it. Um, I'm going to be doing more Halloween streams, hopefully the next two days. Basically, Halloween Eve and Halloween proper is what I plan. 
Uh, if anything doesn't work out, then oh well. But I have some games in mind that I want to stream during those, and I'm a bit excited for that. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.